and Kissin' Crest breaks well. That Cherokee run is there to the inside and he's away quickly. Bull in the Heather will be up close. Antrim Road is wide. Wild Gale is very wide. And Raglan Road and Sea Hero and Silver of Silver are all up close to the early pace. And Antrim Road clears the field and will be the pacemaker in this Belmont as they move into the first turn. As Cherokee Run claims the rail, second Bull in the Heather is up close to the pace. He's running in third. Wild Gale is also up close too. Raglan Road is in between horses, running fifth. Colonial Affair is sixth. And Jerry Bailey has a hard hold in the early going of Sea Hero. Silver of Silver is running four wide. He's about nine lengths from the lead. Then long shot only Alpha. Kiss and Chris is saving ground. He's about ten lengths from the front runners now. Prairie Bayou is well behind. He has only two horses beaten. They are the French Colt, Erintha. And Virginia Rapids is the trailer in this Belmont Stakes. The quarter in 24 flat, the half in 48 and 4. It is easy and controlled, and there are seven furlongs left. Antrim Road is the leader. Sea Hero is making his move early now on the outside. And Cherokee Run, he's right there. He's staying close to this pace. And on the far outside, it's Silver of Silver. Wild Goyle, surprisingly close to the pace. And Colonial Affair is still only six lengths from the lead. And then it's Raglan Road who's beginning to tail off. Bull in the Heather is being pushed along to stay within nine lengths of the front runners. And then it's only Alpha, Kiss and Chris with a big margin to make up. And then Aaron Thod and Virginia Rapids still well, well behind as the field now rounds the far turn. Cherokee Run and Antrim Road and those two now are going stride for stride and Cherokee Run forges to the lead as they round the far turn. Three furlongs out, a mile in 137 and two fifth seconds. And it is Cherokee Run the leader by two lengths. Silver of Silver is there in the outside. And Colonial Affair is putting in his run now. Sea Hero has dropped well behind. And now as the field turns for home, it's Cherokee Run driving on the lead. Colonial Affair appears there on the outside. And Colonial Affair and Julie Crone riding for her life now as they come down toward the final furlong here in the Belmont. Wild Gale is there kissing Chris with a late run on the extreme outside, and they're coming down to the wire and Colonial Affair. Julie Crone, the first woman to win the Belmont. She wins by two.